Friends? Friends? We've only gone out together three times, and already you're telling me you just want to be friends? You never gave me a chance, and for that... You'll fry like a pork sausage. It's not that I don't like you, it's just that, well, you're too nice a guy, I guess. I think I'd rather go out with someone more of the unpredictable. Hello. This doesn't look like the Lincoln Tunnel, Sam. Looks to me like a marginally volatile hostage situation, Max. Ooh, does this mean we get to kick some puffy white mad scientist butt? Can't think of a reason not to. You'll be of no use, freelance police. With the flip of a lever, my ungrateful lunch date will be reduced to a half cup of disoriented atomic matter. I knew he wasn't a real doctor. Uh, shall I confront, subdue, and pummel the suspected perpetrator, Sam? Sick him up, little buddy. Ooh! Ow! Hey, nice one. Yikes! Huh? He's not a real guy, Sam. Can I keep his head for a souvenir? Why do you suppose it's ticking? That's no head, Max. It's one damned ugly time bomb. Let's leave this criminal cesspool pronto. Good idea, Sam. Maybe we can ditch the head somewhere while the credits are running. Mind if I drive? Not if you don't mind me clawing at the dash and shrieking like a cheerleader. Sam, is pronto a real word? Goodbye, Sam and Max. I'll never forget all you've done here today. Well, that was a pleasantly understated credit sequence. I enjoyed the cheesy retro ambiance. What the hell are you talking about, Max? Sam, either termites are burrowing through my skull, or one of us is ticking. Oops, oh yeah. Max, where should I put this so it doesn't hurt anyone we know or care about? Out the window, Sam. There's nothing but strangers out there. I hope there was nobody on that bus. Nobody we know, at least. Hello? Yes? 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 No! Really? Well, the same to you, Mac. Another confused census taker? Actually, it was the commissioner with another idiotic and baffling assignment. Does it involve wanton destruction? We can only hope. Due to the arbitrarily sensitive nature of the mission, we'll be meeting a bonded city courier out on the street. Ooh, smells like a fiercely thickening plot. This phone represents unhindered contact with the outside world. Until they realize we don't pay the bills. This is pretty damn self-explanatory. Vertical silverware storage. My coat hanger antenna. I'm an electronics genius. We've been through a lot together, this TV and I. This is no time for chit-chat. 
I can't pick that up. It's Max's Roach Farm. It's a black light that Max uses to illuminate his rare 60s posters. All our money is invested in that rat hole. Cash. Never leave home without it. Yeah, we may need it to bribe slippery government officials. I can't talk to that. Are you as confused as I am? More so. You're looking hale and hearty, little buddy. I'm a coffee achiever, Sam. I'm thinking of a number between one and ten, and I don't know why. Me too. I'm excited. Who isn't? Well, that's all. We don't go upstairs. Not since the accident. Stairs. Stairs. An egress. <laughs> Joe, you want a piece of me, huh? Well, take a piece of this. Brutal. But very true to life. And there's one for your old man. I really respect Flint's business acumen. Please, Sam, don't use the word acumen again. It's Max. Guess he had it coming to him. Gratuitous acts of senseless violence are my forte. You're such an adorable urchin, Max. Vehicles will be stolen. No way. I think it's a door. Soiled office space available. I love this car. You're a sick puppy, Sam. I see that old Mr. Bosco is generously giving away his profits to the underprivileged ski mask wearing youth of the neighborhood again. Just a bunch of intoxicated pigeons. 
Bosco's guns, liquor, baby needs. Hey, I don't think Mr. Bosco's voluntarily giving away his money. Oh, I'm real terrified. A dog and a rabbit. Ooh, scary. Max, the smart-ass kid doesn't think we're scary. What do you think about that? <sighs> That's telling him, little buddy. I think that punk learned a valuable lesson, Sam. Me too, Max. I didn't realize that the lower lip could stretch completely over the head. Amazing. Really bad food. Oh, it's a cute little hypercephalic kitten. He's adorable. Let's take him home and put tape on his feet. I won't pick that kitten up. I don't know where he's been. Hey there, little fella. You talking to me? Maybe. Are you a cleverly disguised bonded city courier? Maybe. Are you the freelance police? Yes, but don't go blabbing it to everybody. I think he's kind of cute, Sam. Can I make a tennis racket out of him? Maybe later, Max. Right now, we've got a message from the commissioner to collect. Oh, yeah, right. Sorry, guys. I swallowed your orders for safekeeping. But now I can't seem to hock them back up. Hey there, little fella. You talking to me? Don't get smart with me, bub. Or my partner will floss every last crevice on his body with your whiskers. That's unsanitary, Sam. Hey there, little fella. You talking to me? Your head is disturbingly disproportionate to your body. It's a vocal cords. You'd be amazed how much room they take up. Snuckies. It's a great little car. If Max spontaneously grew antlers, he still wouldn't be this ugly. This is what they do to merry-go-round horses who won't stay with a pack. It's one of those jumbo-size all-you-can-drink Snuckies cups. It's almost as big as my head. I can't pick that up. It's an official Snucky's fly swatter. I gotta go to the bathroom. It's a shelf full of Snucky's crap. It's a shelf full of Snucky's crap. I gotta go to the bathroom. It's a carousel of bootleg Sam and Max portable car bomb games. Jackalopes, the bastard pets of Piltdown Man. Genuine Native American drums, manufactured by genuine Native Koreans. I gotta go to the bathroom. It's a box of pecan-flavored candies. No way. Max tried to swallow one the last time. I don't want to scare Max.
I prefer heavier artillery to take out rogue flies. I gotta go to the bathroom. I gotta go to the bathroom. He really loves his ice cream. I gotta go to the fountain. He's one hell of a soda jerk. I gotta go to the bathroom. Excuse me. Excuse me. What? Sharing this experience with you has reminded me. I want Twinklies! More Twinklies! Are you in charge here? Don't I wish. I'd have to go to Snucky U for another six years before I could run this place. But enough about me. What can I do for you? I'd like to buy this. Do you have any money? Of course I do. Here. Will that be all for you today? I'll also take this crappy piece of bootleg merchandise. Anything else? What can you tell me about this? It's hours of fun at home or on the road. Anything else? Snucky you. Is that in the pack tin? I think it's a distant cousin of the caribou, Sam. No, no, no. Snucky you is where all Snucky's employees are sent to learn the ins, the outs, the ups, the downs, the overs, and the unders of the amazing gastronomical and cultural phenomenon that is Snucky's. Fascinating. No, it's not. Humor him. At Snucky U, we're given intensive courses in patty pounding, choosing the right button for soft drinks, and the all-important pickle jar opening. I had no idea you were so rigorously trained. Hey, I can open any jar in the country. Cool. No, it's not. Now, how can I put all that snucky you training to use for you? Oh, I smell beef fritters. Beef fritters? We dip the cows right here in the kitchen. So, what do you want? Is there anything else you'd like to tell us? And try to keep snucky you out of it. Sorry, I can't think of a thing. Maybe if you were more specific? My little buddy has to use the facilities. Facilities be damned! I need a bathroom! They're in the back. Here's the key. There's an awfully big rasp attached to that keychain. Out of toilet paper? Nah, we just had problems with thugs stealing our restroom keys. They're the cleanest in nine counties. The keys? The restrooms. You need some help, little buddy? I think I can handle this myself, Sam. Now, anything else I can do for you? Nothing. You have no idea how often I hear that. Here's your key back. I'm filled with disgust and an odd sense of foreboding. And? Why is this game called Car Bomb, anyway? To avoid getting the pants suit off us. But you don't wear any pants. Don't remind me. You're looking hale and hearty, little buddy. I'm a coffee achiever, Sam. Well, that's all. Are you in 
in charge here. Don't I wish. I'd have to go to Snucky you for another six years before I could run this place. But enough about me. What can I do for you? Nothing. You have no idea how often I hear that. It's a shelf full of Snucky's crap. It's Max. It's a shelf full of Snucky's crap. I gotta go to the bathroom. I gotta go to the bathroom. Are you in charge here? Don't I wish. I'd have to go to Snucky you for another six years before I could run this place. But enough about me. What can I do for you? My little buddy has to use the facilities. Here's the key. You need some help, little buddy? I think I can handle this myself, Sam. Now, anything else I can do for you? Nothing. You have no idea how often I hear that. Max! Are you as confused as I am? More so. I think we should keep the rasp. You're probably right. No one deserves to use rest rooms that clean. Well, that's all. It's all nation and blimey. He ain't here. So, now what do we do? Now? Now we get in the bus and look for him, you idiot. I knew that. Huh? <sighs> get out of Mr. Bumpus' way, ye partially clad varmints. Who was that? I don't know, but if it weren't for the carefree innocence of this carnival, I'd be breaking his kneecaps. You're a demonic little imp, Max. Cushman Brothers Shows. Hall of Oddities. It's Max. Stop! Weird. Creepy. Hey, what's the holdup? Sorry, boys, we are closed. I can't let you in. Insurance reasons, you know. Who are those misanthropes at the gate? Which misanthropes? The short one with the bad hairpiece and the tall one with the dark, flinty eyes. Hey, I just work here. Anything else? Don't you know who we are? I could not care less. Don't you know who we are? I could not care less. Let us in, only your breath. Nope. I want a corn dog. You'd better have a better reason than that if you expect me to let you in. I'll be back. I can hardly wait.
I can't pick that up. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. Stop! It's a box of pecan. I can't use these things together. I don't think he'd want that. <laughs> 